How many times have you found yourself scrolling through OneNote trying to find that one page you need? It's frustrating, right? The truth is, most people are using OneNote completely wrong. With well over 10 years of experience working with Microsoft products and helping professionals through my training videos and one-to-one -one consulting, I've seen how people are using OneNote and learned exactly what works and what not. So in this video, I'll show you the five most common mistakes people, and maybe you as well, make with OneNote and how to fix them. So you can stop wasting time and start using OneNote as the productivity tool it was meant to be. Before we dive in, one quick note. What you're about to learn is the core of a reliable notes routine, but it's just one part of a complete Microsoft 365 setup that saves time and reduces mental load. If you want my step-by-step -step approach for Outlook, Teams, OneNote, to do and more, join my Microsoft 365 Productivity Masterclass link below. It walks you through the most important practical tips and tricks so you actually save time and reduce mental clutter. So ever try to find something in OneNote and ended up scrolling through endless pages wondering where it all went wrong? If you're using just one notebook for everything, that's your first mistake. When I ask people how they organize their OneNote, I often hear, oh, I just have one notebook called work and that's where I write down all my notes. But here's the problem. One notebook for everything is like trying to cook a meal using only a single pot for every ingredient. Spices, pasta, vegetables and sauce all thrown together. I know, one pot dishes can be great, but they are probably not part of a fine dining menu, just as using one notebook will not get you to become a OneNote power user. In OneNote, using a single notebook for all your projects, work and maybe personal notes means you're left sifting through a digital mess. You'll waste time trying to find a specific page or piece of information and it will only get worse the more content you add. So let me show you how to fix this and organize your notebooks in a way that actually works. Now imagine you're working in marketing. You could start by creating separate notebooks for key areas of focus. As a marketing professional, you could have a notebook for strategy and planning, brands, campaigns and events. These notebooks are like having a few well-organized drawers or cabinets in your kitchen each dedicated to specific tools. This makes everything easy to find and less overwhelming. Then you should give your notebooks clear, simple names that reflect their content. For example, instead of calling your notebook events, trade shows, exhibitions and more, just name it events. It's much simpler and you'll still know what's inside. You could also think of including the year in the name, so for example, Events 2025. This makes sense if you are using new notebooks for each year, save them in the same folder and would like to check something from a prior year. Also, don't overload your notebooks and keep the notes separate. Keep your individual notebooks and topics distinct so you're not mixing notes from different work areas for better organization and retrieval. And just like you wouldn't let your kitchen cabinets get stuffed with outdated ingredients, don't let your OneNote notebooks become cluttered. Regularly review them, archive old notebooks and only keep what's relevant to your current projects. Mistake number two is something I see all the time. People throw everything into one giant notebook and hope for the best. Imagine working in marketing and dumping all your campaign plans, meeting notes and brainstorms in one giant unorganized notebook. Suddenly finding that one key idea or meeting note becomes a treasure hunt. It's like trying to prepare a meal by throwing all your ingredients into one bowl, hoping you'll find the right one when you need it. Sure, you'll eventually get it, but it's a chaotic mess that's difficult to navigate. Using OneNote without organizing your sections and pages is the same. It's time consuming and frustrating. So let's fix that and get you organizing your OneNote with sections and pages that actually work. Let's continue to use the marketing example and assume we are in the events notebook. Within that notebook, create sections for each major event you're organizing. For example, if you're handling multiple conferences or trade shows, create sections like marketing conference, product launch and annual networking event. These sections serve as the main categories, grouping everything related to each event in its own section. 
Just make sure to label your section with clear and specific names that reflect the event. To add a section, click New section at the bottom of your notebook or use the right click menu to add a new one. Now within each section create pages for specific meetings, sessions or key discussions. For example on the marketing conference section you can have pages like kickoff meeting, speaker lineup discussion or budget planning. Each page should focus on a single meeting or topic making it easy to locate the information later. To add a page click plus page in the pages sidebar or right click in the page area to create a new page. For further organization you can use sub pages under each meeting page for detailed notes or specific action items. For instance under the kick off meeting page you could add sub pages for things like venue selection, speaker invitations and marketing materials. This allows you to break down information into smaller chunks keeping everything connected but easy to navigate. To add a subpage, simply drag and drop a page under another page or right click the page and select make subpage. Just like you should do with your notebooks, don't let your OneNote sections become cluttered. Regularly review your sections, archive outdated pages and keep only the information that's relevant to your current work. This ensures everything stays fresh and accessible. I also see many people skip over OneNote's templates, but they are a powerful way to save time and stay organized. If you are starting from scratch every time, you're missing out on a huge productivity boost. Instead of creating meeting notes or project plans from scratch, use OneNote's built-in templates or build your own custom ones. There are templates for everything, meeting agendas, project management and even to-do lists. By using templates you will save time and ensure consistency across your notes. To find templates click on insert and page templates. A sidebar on the right will open with all the available templates. From here you can choose from pre-designed ones like meeting notes or project management. If the built-in templates don't fit your needs you can easily create your own. Start by designing a page the way you want it, adding headlines, checkboxes, tables and anything else that works for your needs. You could even use a predefined template and further tailor it to your needs. Once you've created the layout you want to go to insert, page templates and save current page as template which occurs at the bottom of the right hand sidebar. Name your template and click save. Now you can access your own template under my templates in the templates sidebar. And finally make it a habit to use templates for every meeting or project. I personally use a few meeting templates consistently across different types of meetings like internal meetings, steering committees and client project meetings. This way I don't have to start from scratch every time and I always know I'm capturing the right information whether it's action items, decisions made or follow-up tasks. It saved me tons of time and kept my notes organized. Now here's a bonus tip which I really love but I have seen very few people actually making use of this. OneNote can automatically import meeting information from Outlook. When you have a scheduled meeting in Outlook simply click on the meeting notes button in the Outlook meeting invite and choose OneNote. This will create a new OneNote page for that meeting pulling all the meeting details like attendees, date and location so you can easily add your notes right there. If you're already in OneNote and want to pull in meeting details you can do that too. Just open the home tab in OneNote and click on meeting details. This will allow you to select a meeting from your calendar and automatically add the meeting's key information into your OneNote page. If you're not using text in OneNote you're really missing out on something simple that can make your life so much easier. Tags are great for quickly finding important information, marking things to do or just staying on top of your notes. You probably already tag emails in your inbox as important or for follow-up, right? And tags in OneNote work exactly the same way. They help you stay organized and make it easy to find things later. OneNote has tags like to do, important and question. To add one just highlight the text you want to tag and click the tag button in the toolbar and pick the one you need. It's super simple but using tags for your to-dos or other items really stand out from the rest of your notes. You can also create your own tags like client feedback or action needed. Just go to home, 
tags and customized tags. Here you can choose a name, symbol and color and voila, there you have your own custom tag. Once you've tagged some of your notes, you can quickly review them all in one place. Click on Find Tags in the Tags section of the ribbon. This will pull up a summary in the sidebar of all your tags you've used across your entire notebook. From there, you can see everything tagged to do, important or whatever custom tags you've created. You can even group tags by name, section, title, date or note text, as well as where to search OneNote for the text. Finally, you can click the Create Summary Page button at the very bottom of the sidebar and create a separate summary page with all the tags you have filtered. I really like this feature because it's a quick way to check your priorities without scrolling through different OneNote pages. And finally, let's come to one of the most common mistakes I see people making all the time and maybe you too. So if you're not using the search feature in OneNote, you're seriously wasting time. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people scrolling through endless pages of notes when they could have just searched for what they needed in a few seconds. It's like having a huge library but never using the index. You're just making it harder on yourself. So let's stop that and get smart with the search function. Just type what you're looking for in the search bar at the top right and OneNote will find it for you instantly, whether it's typed, tagged or even written by hand. Just make sure there's no typo. But most of the time you'll at least remember a keyword from the section or page you're looking for. And if you're looking for notes from a specific time or place, you can filter your search results by date or notebook. After typing your search term in the bar, click on the filters option on the left and select section or notebook to narrow down your results. This makes it easy to find exactly what you need, even if you have tons of notes. OneNote can even search through your handwritten notes. If you've written something by hand, just type the word you want to find in the search bar and OneNote will pull it up, provided your handwriting is legible. If you want to make it even easier to search, you can convert your handwritten notes to text first. Just right click on your handwritten note and select ink to text. Once converted, you can search for the text just like any other typed note. So if you're ready to take your OneNote game to the next level and unlock its full potential, watch this video next where I'll show you 14 must-know OneNote tips and tricks that will save you time and boost your productivity even further.